the Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Jackie Jacobs from Past Reflections Reproductions has joined us again for another episode on civilian clothing during the Civil War. And today we're going to talk about children's clothing, specifically little boys. And we're going to look at a specific piece out of Jackie's personal collection that they've reproduced at Past Reflections Reproduction. That is this winter frock. So Jackie, yes. do you want to tell us a little bit about this? Well, this is a winter frock. It's completely, it's wool on the outside, cut on a bias. Then the inside is lined completely with linen, and it is also cut on the bias. The bias is the 45 diagonal on a piece of fabric, and it allows the fabric to stretch. The sleeves are also lined with a cotton. Then it also has an undersleeve. If you look at the other side of the garment, you can see there's a red undersleeve that is kind of hanging out. That is made of wool, and it is lined with a twill cotton, and that'll make it a little bit warmer because of the wool and a little more comfortable to yes. wear because of the cotton underneath. Absolutely. And then it also has the cuff here. The closures on this are thread loops and hooks. And that is very similar to what ladies and, and little girls clothing would be uh, with the hooks and, the, uh, and thread eyes. That has the buttons down the front that are very ornamental, similar to vest buttons that a gentleman would wear. But unlike a vest, these buttons you're saying are just decorative. Ornamental. And all the work is done by the hook and eye. Yes, absolutely. Then there are, there's a little pocket here in the front on both sides, and it's belted. The inside of the garment has a drawstring that is hand-stitched down, and they can pull the drawstring through the casing and I've done that on this reproduction right here where I've taken and put the drawstring on the inside. Then the belt goes over the top of it. And that can be moved as the child grows. These would have been worn by children, little boys from the age of about two to about eight. And as, they're, as they grow older, then you can add trousers or drawers to them. Um, this is an image from my collection that shows a little boy wearing a tunic like this, and it is cut on a bias. So we see two here. This is an original. You say this is a winter weight yes. because of being made with wool and being made with linen and made heavier. Mm -hmm. What did you change in the reproduction? So this one is a reproduction, and it's made of a cotton uh, fabric with a cotton lining, and it has no undersleeves with it. So, and it is also cut on the bias so that it stretches. So it carries the same concepts as this original winter, but takes it, uh, makes it more comfortable for summer wear. Yes. And in a lot of the images and what, that I have found, you can find images of the little uh, garments being made lighter weight. Um, you can, especially in your Godies and Petersons magazines, you have had uh, images of summer uh, <laughs> type of activities going on and they're outside wearing this so you know it's got to be a lighter weight type of garment. The trousers that I have here, this little blue check is the original trousers that obviously don't go with this outfit but this is the type of trouser that might be worn by a younger child. And how, do, how does this get held in place for a young child? There are little button holes at the top of the waistband it has an opening like this, and it would have been um, attached with buttons uh, to the undershirt or undergarment that they would have been wearing. This also has a little pocket on each side so that the little boy can um, put little trinkets and what have you on it. And it also has a little bit of an accessory area here so that the little boy can um, easily relieve himself if he needs to. Uh, this particular one right here, it was made the same way. It buttons together and then it would button to the undergarment that the child was wearing. Great. So construction for something of the Civil War era, hand sewn, machine sewn, some combination? This particular outfit is completely hand sewn. It dates from the 1850s. This type of garment I've seen in uh, photographic evidence and also in your fashion plate evidence from about the 1830s in various styles 
on through to the 1870s. Uh, context, we've talked about the boys of age, two to eight. Uh, economic status of the family and where the family might live, where does this fit in? Most of the images that I've seen, I would guess that the family would have been middle to upper class. Uh, you can tell by what types of things are in the images, what station, you know, if they have a lot of toys in the image, they're probably, you know, more of a wealthy class. If they're just, you know, three little boys standing together, they're probably more of a middle class. And this fits both of those fits, socioeconomic ranges. Yes, it does. It does. Great. And so a person who would pick up a pattern from you guys would have a choice to either make the winter weight true to the original yes. or drop the undersleeves. Well, thank you for spending time with us today. Um, here's a little bit more about what children wore during the Civil War. For the Civil War Digital Digest, I'm Will. Thanks for spending time with us today. If you've enjoyed the episode, please hit like on it, and we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the Civil War Digital Digest. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.